Hey guys, it's Hickory on Staples here, and today I'm going to be doing my first ever review video for Cookie Stable Studio. She is nice enough to send me some tack to review for her Etsy, and of course, uh, she was the first person who asked to do the collab with me, so, you know, she's a really good friend of mine, and you guys should definitely check her out. So she sent me $22.50 worth, so yeah, let's get into it. Today I have top sales showing me the models and stuff. Open the package up and grab all the tech out. Oh, I dropped something. Oh no. Okay, so that seems to all be in the bag. So she was nice enough to send me one traditional briar lead black and white. One traditional briar boot, blue, briar, uh, four briar hoof picks, one traditional briar padded halter, blue, one traditional briar halter, blue. It was $22.50 worth, but she gave it to me for free. And she signed. And that's her little card, guys. You guys should definitely want to buy from her. Those are, it is a really pretty card. It's kind of cool, too. I'm still getting the techniques of how to do many things, so... You know, I might want to check out how to do that. <laughs> so, uh, let's look at the hoof picks first. I learned how to make hoof picks um, not that long ago. And I kind of tried it out. And it's really fun to make and really fast. But, you know, it also kind of hurts your hands in the process if you're not careful. So, yeah. Right here is the four briar hoof picks. And I don't have the black and yellow colors, so that's good. I get that color now. And um, the little bubble wrap is in. So, these definitely are super cute. Uh, they look really realistic, too. Uh, they seem to come in many different colors. There's black, blue, green, and yellow in here. She possibly has more colors so uh, yeah these look really realistic and would be great for photos whether they're outside or inside so next we will check out the bell boots because why not or the splint boots oh I don't have any of those I don't have any kind of boots to be honest so this will be a great addition to my barn and stuff because I need some for something in the future. So, yeah. <laughs> and put the bubble wrap over here. Oh, look! She even has like a little Instagram name in there. It's so cute. But they come in a cute package again. And I get two. Oh, they're so cute. So, I'm just kind of showing you guys what I'm getting so far. Then I'll put it all on at the end. Or use it and put it to size. Next, we're going to check out the Briar Traditional Lead Rope. It's a t twisted lead rope. I saw a tutorial on how to do these, but I just don't accept the. Um, I just don't accept how it's made. <laughs> like, how can it stay twisted even after you tie on it? You know, that's me. Forget it. But oh, it looks so cute and it's so neat. You guys should definitely get one of these. They're cute. Oh. So this one I actually asked her about if she could make this because I wanted to kind of see one in person. I have one other, but it's kind of sloppy. So I'm really glad that she sent me one because it, it's like really neat. And I love the black and blue. <laughs> I'm like a black and blue and white person. Um, I'll put that down here. So, next up is the Briar Traditional Halter. Oh, I'm excited to see this. I honestly found out how to make halters, but they're so hard, I gave up. <laughs> like, I didn't give up, but, you know, I just kind of stopped. So, here it is. It's, like, really super cute, and it is also neat. Oh, and it comes over the head, too. 
Okay, so we'll definitely try this on, um, along with the lead rope. And it's in a really pretty blue. So, it's like my, uh, it's like a metallic kind of bluish, bluish purple. I like that. Alright, and the last item. Oh, I kind of ruined that piece of tape. Is a padded uh, briar traditional halter. And you can see like the padding going it, kind of, the camera will focus. Like, focus? Come on, please. No? Okay. But it's like super cute looking, and I'm so excited to try this on. So, let's get to trying it on. Okay. So, the first one we're going to try out is the regular briar traditional halter. So we just have to open this real quick. Ugh, I ruined the card. Okay. Ah, the horse's ear is kind of stapled. Oh no, horsey. Survive. Just gotta be careful with the horse's ear. And voila! So it looks really pretty. Um. She has her Instagram there, cookie underscore stables, and I guess let's take it off and try it on, which is kind of hard since I've never done it before. Okay. So let's see if it fits him. If not, I'll try it on some other of my models. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Oh my goodness, it's taken me so long. Just to put it on. Ugh. And voila. So the only thing um, about this halter. Oh wait. Never mind. Maybe. Let me see. Yep. Never mind. Uh, I, the, I really like it. It has like a bottom neck strap. Or chin strap I mean. And it comes over the head perfectly and it's lined with his eyes perfectly oh you can't see perfectly um it's not loose at all so where it sags and it fits in perfectly <laughs> um and the chin strap isn't too tight that the uh hooks uh rub against his chin so i really like the halter that she has so let's try out the lead rope. Oh, 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 oh no. The lead rope with it. Oh, this is so cute looking. Oh, and there we go. So, you know, I just have to wear out the uh, wrinkles in it. But it's really pretty. Comes out pretty far, as you can see. You can come around his neck. I really like it. It's pretty. And I do believe it goes pretty good with the halter. If not, you guys are just haters. <laughs> um, anyways. I really like it. You know, it looks pretty. <laughs> so, yeah, I really like this item, and you guys should definitely check it out. Um, she has a nice, clean cut down at the bottom, and, you know, it, it looks perfect. You just have to wear out the wrinkles, which you have to do in a lot of things you buy, so it's nothing new, people. Don't say, oh, she has wrinkles in it. I don't want, guys, everything has wrinkles in it from one time to another. 
Also, if any of you guys know where to get these horse heads, please let me know. I really want some. Because I also have the halters I made. I'm wanting to start selling on my own Etsy. I'm wanting to start up soon. So next we'll try out the hoof picks that she gave us. Oh crap. Just do that. And here they are. So I think they're really cute. Um compared to the horse's hoof. They're good. And she gave me four because she was really nice. <laughs> and I love the colors that they come in. They're super realistic. And, you know, of course you don't actually scrape your horse's hooves with them, otherwise you'll get rubs or paint off of their hooves. But you can just take photography with it, or videos, just not actually rub it. And yeah, it looks to a pretty good size. So, thank you so much for the hoof picks. They're really cute. And they are very, they are very uh, sturdy. So we'll set those right here. And then next, what we'll check out is the splint boots. Okay. Yeah, let's do it from back here. There we go. Oh, they're so cute. So, of course, she has a little tag in them with her username. So, just pull those out. I'm going to sponsor it every time I see her name. Cookie Stables. So, these look super cute. And as you can tell, they can come undone. So, Let's do that. Do that, do that, that. Oh, be, okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't think. Oh, I can't. My nail. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, my nail was in the way, guys. So, as you can see, she has a little pad of soft fleece right there. And the entire thing is basically made out of fleece. So, whenever it goes on... That's what it looks like. You can't see. There you go. So yeah, give me a second and I'll put them both on. Okay guys, so I got it on. And it's actually really cute. The realism is 10 all the way. And, but for the quality, I'd give it an 8.5, a, a 9. Because the ribbon, I had these both far out and tight. But that one came undone, and that one's about to. So the ribbon is a little hard to keep on there. Uh, but other than that, it's really good. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to show you guys how it looked off. And how it looked on. So of course, you know, uh, this one, I like how they how she made the ribbon look like it goes behind this little flap right there and that's good because a lot of the real ones do <laughs> and it comes it goes behind there and all the way out to right here so um yeah this tag is really good so let's get on to the padded halter Okay guys, so it's on, and oh my goodness, look at it. It's so cute. So it definitely is a 10 on the cuteness. Like, look at it. It's so cute. The realism, I'd have to give a 10. Like, it's so freaking good and cute. And it fits him so good. Oh my goodness. I have to say, this is definitely his halter. <laughs> so it does fit perfectly on him. And the halters, to me, other than the leader open, 
you know, the hoof picks because you can't really attach those. But the halters are the easiest to, like, attach onto the horse's head. And I like that because it's hard for me to deal with many things. If that guy's, if that makes sense to you guys. So, of course, on here, it has our Instagram. And I definitely love this head. Um, I'm so obsessed with the halters. I would definitely probably buy some from you, um, at Barfest. Like, you better be ready. Have some. <laughs> but yes, they look so cute. Okay, guys, that's all for this review video. So, I today I reviewed Cookie Stable's, uh, tack. And she gave me $22.50 worth. And for the overall price for all of this, I definitely think it was a good price. Because this lead rope, the padded halter, this halter right here, and the split boots and the hoof picks are all so amazingly well made. And they're so cute and super realistic. They would all be good for any type of series or photography. So the packaging was really good too. Uh, it came in those cute little baggies that you guys saw. And there was definitely enough, you know, space to where they wouldn't get crushed if they were to move, uh, if the box would be shooken, you know, like the bag. It was enough space so they wouldn't get squished. And the overall quality on all of it is amazing um my five stars out of all the tack together i'd have to give a five it's all so amazing but anyways i love all this stuff so much it it's so it's so cute <laughs> be ready for a fire fest because i'm gonna be buying like green yellow blue all sorts of colors from you so yes guys, thank you so much for watching this review and thank you so much Cookie Stables for letting me do this review for you. And I'm deeply sorry, it's so, it took me so long. I truly am. I really hope you can forgive me. <laughs> okay guys, so that's all I have for today. If you guys liked this video, then definitely go down below and punch the like button. And if you guys want to ask a question, want to say something, or ask me a question, go down to the comment section and type it in. And if you guys want to see extra stuff about this video or something, then check the description out. And if you want to become a Sweet Willow, smack the subscribe button and you will be automatically join the potato on me because in my world, we're all potatoes. <laughs> So, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye, my sweet willows. Thunder, 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 thunder.